Hello viewers, welcome to this program on the topic number systems. We know that a computer stores data internally in a sequence of zeros and ones that is not easily readable by human beings. Every computer stores numbers, letters and other special characters in a coded form. Before going into details about these codes, it is essential to have a basic understanding of the number system that are prevalent in digital electronics. Hence this program familiarizes you with the fundamentals of number systems. This program also introduces some commonly used number systems in computer science and also relationship among them. Number systems are of two types. First is non-positional number system. Second is positional number system. Since prehistoric times, the human beings begin counting on their fingers. For counting beyond 10, they started using stones, pebbles or sticks to mark or indicate the value. This kind of counting uses an additive approach or the non-positional number system. In this number system, we use symbols to indicate the value. Each symbol represents the same value regardless of its position in a number and to find value of a number, one has to count the number of symbols present in the number. For example, value 1 can be represented with a single line, 2 with a double line, 3 with triple lines, 4 with 4 lines and so on. The disadvantage of using a non-positional number system is that it is very difficult to perform arithmetic calculation with such a number. In response to this, positional number systems were developed. Now the positional number system. In positional number system, there are only a few symbols called digits. A digit is a numeral symbol used in combination to represent numbers in positional numeral systems. These symbols represent different values depending upon the position they occupy in a number. The value of each digit in such a number is determined by three considerations. First is the digit itself. Second the position of the digit in a number and third the base or radix of number system. The base or radix is usually the number of unique digits including zero that a positional number system uses to represent numbers. The base of an integer that is greater than one or less than negative one because a radix of zero would not have any digits and a radix of 1 would have only 0 digit. Negative bases are rarely used. In a system with negative radix, numbers may have many different possible representation. For example, for the decimal system, the radix is 10 because it uses 10 digits from 0 through 9 to represent any number. When a number hits 9, the next number will not be another different symbol but a 1 followed by a 0. In binary, the radix is 2. Since after it hits 1, instead of 2 or another written symbol, it jumps straight to 10 followed by 11 and 100. In general, the relationship between a digit, its position and the base of the number system is expressed by the following formula that is digit into base raised to the power position. Sometimes a subscript notation is used where the base number is written in subscript after the number represented. For example, 23 to the base 8 indicates that the number 23 is expressed in base 8. The four common positional number system associated with modern computers and digital electronics are first is decimal number system, second is binary number system, third is octal number system and fourth is hexadecimal number system. First is decimal number system. In our day to day life, we use decimal number system. It is also called Hindu Arabic or Arabic number system. The decimal number system employs 10 as the base or radix and requires 10 different numerals that is 
the digits of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It also requires a dot, that is a decimal point to represent decimal fractions. Note that in decimal number system, successive position to the left of the decimal point represents units or ones, tens, hundreds, thousands and so on and each position represent a specific power of a base which is 10. For example, a decimal number 4629 consists of digit 9 at units position, 2 at tens position, 6 at hundreds position and 4 in thousand position. The value can be written as 4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 plus 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1 plus 9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0. It is worth noting that any number in power of 0 is 1. Even 0 in power of 0 is 1. Hence the value can be written as 4 multiplied by 1000 plus 6 multiplied by 100 plus 20 multiplied by 10 plus 9 multiplied by 1. Similarly, we can represent a decimal fraction in the same manner. Note that successive position to the right of the decimal point represent tenth, hundredth, thousandth and so on. For example, a decimal fraction 4239.6518 to the base 10 consists of digit 4 at thousandths place, 2 at hundredths place, 3 at tenths place, 9 at units or ones place, 6 at tenth place, 5 at hundredth place, 1 at thousandth position and 8 at ten thousand position. The value can be written as 4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2 plus 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1 plus 9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0 plus 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 1 plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 plus 8 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 4. Observe that the digit signifies different values depending upon the position it occupies in the number. For example, in 4629 to the base 10, the digit 9 signifies 9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0, that is 9. In 6294 to the base 10, the digit 9 signifies 9 into 10 raised to the power 1, that is 90. In 2964 to the base 10, the digit 9 signifies 9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 2, that is 900. In 9642 to the base 10, the digit 9 signifies 9 into 10 raised to the power 3, that is 9000. The value of the base in all positional systems suggests the following characteristics. First is, the value of the base determines the total number of different symbols or digits available in the number systems. The first of these choices is always 0. The second is, the maximum value of a single digit is always equal to 1 less than the value of the base. Second is binary number system. It is the natural way most digital circuits represent and manipulate numbers. The binary number system employs 2 as the base or radix and requires only two different numerals, that is the digits of 0 and 1. Recall the already discussed formula that is digit into base raised to the power position. In binary number system, the base or radix is 2, hence the notation of binary number system becomes digit into 2 raised to the power position. Note that in binary number system, successive position to the left of the binary point represents units of 1s, 2s, 4s and so on. And each position represents a specific power of the base which is 2. To represent a binary fraction, successive position to the right of the binary dot represents halves, fourths, eighths and so on. As we did with the previous decimal example, 
we can analyze the digits of our binary number 110.112. It can be represented as 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power minus 2. The short form of binary digit is called a bit. We typically write binary numbers as a sequence of bits. We have defined boundaries for these bits. You can see on the screen the boundaries of these bits. We will number each bit as follows. First is the rightmost bit in a binary number is bit position 0. Second is each bit to the left is given the next successive bit number. Bit 0 is usually referred to as the least significant bit or LSB. The leftmost bit is typically called the most significant bit that is MSB. We will refer to the intermediate bits by their respective bit numbers. This diagram on the screen shows the relative sizes of the most commonly sized collection of binary information. A nibble is a collection of bits on a 4-bit boundary. As a nibble contains 4 bits, there are 16, that is 2 raised to the power 4 possible values. A byte is a collection of 8 bits of information. It is also called a character and have 2 raised to the power 8 possible values. A word is a collection of 16 bit of information. The word can have 2 raised to the power 16 possible values. A long word is a collection of 32 bits of information. A long word can have 2 raised to the power 32 possible value. And a very long word is a collection of 64 bits of information. A very long word can have 2 raised to the power 64 possible values. Third number system is octal number system. The octal number system employs 8 as the base or ADX and requires 8 different numerals that is the digits of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Recall the already discussed formula digit into base raised to the power position in octal number system the base or ADX is 8. Hence the notation becomes digit into 8 raised to the power position. Note that in octal number system, successive position to the left of the decimal points represent units or ones, eighths, sixty fours, and so on. And each position represent a specific power of the base which is 8. To represent octal fraction, successive position to the right of the octal dot represent eighth, sixty fourth, and so on. As we did with the previous decimal example, we can analyze the digits of our octal number system 1605.35. 1 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 3 plus 6 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 2 plus 0 multiplied by 8 to the raised to the power 1 plus 5 multiplied by 8 raised to the power 0 plus 3 multiplied by 8 raised to the power minus 1 plus 5 multiplied by 8 raised to the power minus 2. The fourth number system is hexadecimal number system. One main disadvantage of binary numbers is that the binary equivalent of a large decimal number can be quite long, which makes it difficult to both read or write without producing errors, especially when working with 16 or 32 bit numbers. One common way of overcoming this problem is to arrange the binary numbers into group of four as hexadecimal numbers starting with least significant digit at the right hand side. The hexadecimal number system employs 16 as the base or ADX and requires 10 different numerals that a digit of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and 6 alphabets that is a, B, C, D, E and F. Recall the already discussed formula digit into base raised to the power position. In hexadecimal number system, 
the base of radix is 16 hence the notation becomes digit into 16 raised to the power position. Note that in hexadecimal number system successive position to the left of hexadecimal point represent units or ones, sixteens, 256 etc and so on and each position represent a specific power of the base which is 16. To represent a hexadecimal fraction successive position to the right of the hexadecimal dot represent 16th, 256th and so on. As we did with the previous decimal example we can analyze the digits of our hexadecimal number 1605.35 that is 1 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 3 plus 6 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 2 plus 0 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 1 plus 5 multiplied by 16 raised to the power 0 plus 3 multiplied by 16 raised to the power minus 1 plus 5 multiplied by 16 raised to the power minus 2. And do not get confused, 1 0 or 2 0 is not 10 or 20 but it is 1 plus 0 or 2 plus 0 in hexadecimal. In fact, 20 does not even exist in hexadecimal. With two hexadecimal numbers, we can count up to FF which is equal to decimal 255. Knowing whether data is being represented as octal or hexadecimal is something difficult, especially if a hexadecimal doesn't use one of the digits that is A to F. So one convention that is often used to distinguish these is to put 0x in front of hexadecimal numbers. So you might see for example 0 multiplied by 2a. Viewers, in this lecture we discussed about the number system, the non-positional and positional number system. We also discussed the digital, binary, octal and hexadecimal number system. It is worth note that the positional number systems can be converted from one base to another. That is, a binary base can be converted into a decimal base or to octal or can be converted to hexadecimal number. However, the procedure adopted for conversion shall be discussed in preceding lectures. Thanks for watching this program.